Welcome back everyone to Quick Tips of Investing. My name is Tristan Ritchie and today's subject is which type of investor are you or should you be? So there's two types. There's equity investor and cash flow. So the big difference is if you're a cash flow investor, you're looking for money now. If you're an equity investor, you're looking for money later. So being a cash flow investor like myself, I'm starting a new career, so I wanted the extra security, the extra income just in case, just to pay bills and everything, or just save up for the next investment. So I, I look for the money now. So this means you, all the money that you make, all the profits, you save for yourself, you put in your bank, you save it up. But the problem is you have to pay tax on that. So if you already have a job and you're just trying to supplement your income with a, with a rental property, then you're going to get taxed. You might go into a higher tax bracket and you'll get taxed on the, all the profits you make off that rental income. On the other hand, there's an equity investor. So they don't get taxed. Their goal is to have zero net income at the end of the year. So if you don't make any money, then you don't get taxed on it. But the flip side is you use all the money that you would have as profits to raise the value of your home. So my dad, for example, he likes to do the equity way because he has a job and he doesn't want to pay extra taxes on the money that he's making every month on his, on his rental properties. So he uses all the money that he makes, all the extra income, and he reinvests it in the property. Upgrades to the kitchen, floors, bathrooms, so you stay with the times. If you have a home, everyone thinks that it goes up in value all the time. They're known to, it increases with inflation or whatever, but it only increases if you're doing the upgrades to keep it up with all the other homes, the new homes that are built. If it's an ugly home, you never do any upgrades, it won't go up in value. So that's the what you do for equity investing. The other positive with equity investing is at the end, when you go to sell the home, you made, say your house goes up value 100 grand, you only pay taxes on 50%, which is the capital gains. So that's a huge difference between all the money that you're making on a monthly, yearly basis and 50% of what you make. So for that one year, you'll be in a higher tax bracket, but you're only paying it on the 50%. So those are my tips for what type of investor you should be. If you have any questions, let me know. Social media, phone number, email, I'll be down low. And please let me know if you have any questions. Thank you for listening.